Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at variables and operalization, and this is for the research methods component of uh, OCR A-level psychology. Um, so, dependent and independent variables. The independent variable is the variable that is manipulated to see what effect it has on the dependent variable. The behavior that the researcher is measuring is known as the dependent variable. When providing an independent or dependent variable in an exam, you must give it in a way that can be measured. An independent variable would look like whether the, whether the participant is male or female, and just note that it always starts with whether. A dependent variable would look like, in a study uh, looking at how tutoring impacts on test scores, the dependent variable would be the participant's test scores. Linking variables to hypotheses. When writing a hypothesis in an exam, it is important that you state the hypothesis in an operationalized format. This means describing the independent and the dependent variable in detail. An operationalized two-tailed experimental hypothesis for a study on how coffee improved reaction time would look like. There will be a significant difference on, uh, between participants who consume a 350ml mug of coffee and those who do not on a go-slash-no-go task, measured as the percentage of errors made on 30 items. So as you can see, there's um, numbers in there. Just make sure if you do it in an exam, just stick a few numbers in there and you'll get the marks. If a variable is to be studied in a scientific manner, it must be operationalized. This means that anyone who wants to conduct the study could do it in the same way to obtain similar results. Extraneous variables. Extraneous variables refer to all the other factors uh, slash variables which could influence the dependent variable. These need to be controlled as far as possible so that we can infer that it is the independent variable which is causing a change in the dependent variable. The control of these variables is known as applying experimental controls. Extraneous variables can be subdivided into two categories. 1. Participant variables. These are the factors within a person that can vary over time or with a situation. These can also vary between people. More obvious participant variables include age, gender and ethnicity. 2. Situational variables. Um, ex environmental factors. These are factors which, ca which can vary in the environment, e.g. the level of noise in a room or the number of people present, etc. Controlling extraneous variables. It is essential that psychologists control extraneous variables in their research because if it is not controlled, it will become a confounding variable. Confounding variables are extraneous variables that have not been controlled and have been allowed to operate alongside the independent variable in an experiment, and therefore may have affected the, the dependent variable. Since this has occurred, the researcher will not be able to isolate the independent variable as the cause of change on the dependent variable. The methods of controlling extraneous variables include standardization. This means keeping the test conditions, conditions exactly the same for every participant. This controls for situational va variables which might impact their behavior. Randomization. This is where the participants are randomly allocated to the experimental conditions on a chance basis. Random allocation can be used to avoid experimental bias when allocating participants to the conditions. Counterbalancing. This is a method of controlling variables, especially order effects in repeated measures design. This is where the order of the presentation of the tasks is systematically varied to the participants, so that perhaps the first half of them take one test first, and the other take the other test first. This technique spreads out the effects of order of presentation across the conditions. Here is a visual diagram for you to have a look at, it might help you. But um, this is the end of this presentation. Um, thank you for watching and I'll be making some more videos, so make sure you check those out. Uh, thank you.